Today we're going to talk more about Angular routing. And so last time we created this blog application, the blog, and um, the code is down below. But basically we had these three links. We had the about me link that again routed us to a new portion of this application with a different URL. And the data in this page was controlled by the about me controller. And so this was controlled by it. And we also had posts and this is just you know, a static posts page. And when I click the link, it routed us to this posts URL and then same for contact. And so we know how to route things. We know how to control things with a controller, but what about parameters? So say if I click this, like what if this was like about me one, you know, and based on the fact that there was a one there, like I want to do something with that. Or in a better case, if I click posts and then say like we had a bunch of links that were like first post, second post, third post, like depending on which post I pick, it should load the appropriate page. But we don't want to create like a single, like we don't want to create all these different URLs for each page. We just want kind of a template. So that way, if I say, you know, one here or two or three or whatever, like it just takes me to that post. And so that is what we are going to do today. And so to do that, we're gonna go ahead and look at the code. This is our index.html that we created last time. And in particular, we're gonna look at the post page. And so this posts.html is basically what we just saw over here. This is actually coming from this. And we're gonna change this code a little bit. And so we are gonna create an unordered list. And in each item of the list, we are just gonna put the name of the post and we are gonna make it a link. So that way when I click the post, it will take me somewhere else. But the way it takes me to that other place, we will code later on. But we're just setting up like the fact that it will be linked. And here we are, our links are set up. And so now when I click my first post, it should take me to you know that first post and this what this like evaluates to will be set up later and then when i click you know the second post it will take me here and so now we need to set up these routes and in order to do this we need to go to our app.js file and so here are the routes that we created before and we're just going to create a couple more and so under posts we're going to add another url we're going to say when we see posts and we see an id and that id is going to be a number then we're gonna say the template URL is going to come from views, you know, our views folder with all of our HTML files. And then inside of that, just post.html. And we'll have a controller as well. And this controller will actually control the data on the page. And so if it's the first post, then it will put the first post information. Otherwise it will put, you know, whatever post we're looking at their information. And then we're gonna go ahead and move that here. So our syntax is correct, we have our comma, everything looks good so far. Next, we actually need to create these files. And so here we have a post.html and this has not been created yet. And so we'll need to create that as well as our single post controller. And so we'll start off with the post.html. We'll go ahead and create this new file and we'll save it as post.html. And we are gonna put this in the views like we set up that link before for the template URL. And then we're gonna write some code in here. Basically, all we're gonna do to keep this simple is we are gonna go header one and we're gonna put the post.title. And so post is gonna be an object here that we're gonna set in the scope in our controller. And then we'll have the post text and that's it. And so we'll basically say, you know, on a given post, we should see the title and it's according text. And you can change this later on so that way you see, you know, images and all of that stuff but that you can do on your own. And now that this has been created and is all good to go, we'll go ahead and create a new file here. And it's gonna be our single post controller.js file. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in our controllers inside of JS, inside of controllers, hit enter. And then we're gonna write some code here and I'm gonna explain it in a second. Just initializing our controller, adding our parameters, and then we're gonna add some posts to this, each with their own title and text. And we added the one and two at the end so that way we'd be able to tell which text is with post one, which is with post two when we're viewing it on the page, because this is all like sample data. 
um, that can be filled in later by an API or something else. However, we haven't really wrote the code in here to decide which post we will show on the page. And so to do that, we really need access to this ID here. And so how do we get access to that? Well, we can add something new called route params with that dollar sign in front. And what this will allow us to do is access the parameters of our routingness. And so we will want to add a nice little switch statement here. And we're gonna go route params dot ID. And so ID is actually an attribute of route params. And why is it an attribute? Well, we made it one when we selected this thing here. And so when we do slash ID, we create that attribute for route params. And there it is. And basically, depending on the value of that attribute, we'll go ahead and you know set the scope as we said before. And so we'll have case one, meaning that the ID was one. Then we'll go ahead and set the scope post equals post one. And then we'll add a little break because JavaScript, and then we'll say case two. And we'll set if it, you know, if our ID is two, we'll set scope.post equals post two. And then we can add a break and then say, you know, it's something else. It's not either of these posts. You know, it's, it's not a one, two, but it's, it's say a three, but we haven't written our post three. Well, then we could say scope.post equals post one. You know, bring them back to that default post. And then we just need to go ahead and close this paren here and we should be good to go. Now we just have to import these files into our index.html. And so we'll go back over here and now we have another controller. And so we'll add that script tag here super quickly. And with that done, we'll go back over here. And when we were running this Angular application, we were actually using HTTP server, and that's because routing is dynamic, and so you need to have some kind of server running in the background. You need your local host. And so that means you have to put it on Heroku and not GitHub because it's dynamic like that. It's the same case with directives. You gotta have the server in the background. And so we'll go ahead and open a new incognito tab for this. And we have to do it because of caching issues, which is so annoying, wish I could fix it. And we'll go to posts. We have my first post, my second post, an ultimate moment of truth it doesn't work. And let's check out why that is. So we'll go to our console. This is just regular debugging stuff. You know, you gotta do it. Don't worry about that error. We'll go ahead and see that we have a syntax error, which means we type something up wrong. It's probably in line one. And we can go ahead and check over here to see what it is. And we see we have this extra paren here, so we'll take that away. And we have that at the bottom, we have this. Everything looks good on the syntax side. And now we'll just restart our server and then open up a new incognito window here. Test it out. It'll load, we'll go to posts, again, my first post, and there's our first post. We have first post is the title, and then we have this text down here, and then we'll go back, check out the second post. We also see the second post, you know, with all of this stuff, and so it works. So what did we actually do here? Well, we went over here, we had our post.html, we created these links, and so that's the first thing. We had something actually linked to this URL. Then we set up the routes in our app.js, we added this ID, you know, had a template URL, our controller, then we went ahead and knitted these files, post.html, as well as the single post controller. And so in our post.html, we had the title, we had the text, and in our single post controller, we, you know, created these posts, we accessed the route params ID, and then we go ahead and set the scopes, you know, attributes based on what that route param ID was. And so that is it for this video. Next week is midterms for me, and so there probably will not be a video next week, but hopefully if I have time, there will be, and I'll see you next time.